Hello. We back. Well, I'm back. I'll be stalking you all the time. I've got something here that you wanted to see. And judging from uh, the fact that you can read and you read the title, you know exactly what it is. It's a fresh look. Came to me today. Let's have a look, huh? It's an Acer laptop computer, supposedly gaming one. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start from the fact that the packaging... Yeah. Seriously? Just in a box like this? Unbelievable. Nah. That's not good enough for me. Not one bit. Okay. So. Pretty heavy. From what I can tell. And I've got some. Yeah. Hoo -hoo. Let's see. Scalpel. Pull this out. Oh, okay. So it's like that. So this is this is how it comes. It has a box full of goodies, I believe. Oh that's heavy. Oh let's put that there. And it has a laptop itself. So let's pull this out. Ooh. All right. Nothing else inside. Et voila. What do we have here? Setup guide. Ooh. Tells you what, what. And what to do in case you were born yesterday, which will come handy because this is a gift for my daughter for her birthday. So she is going to love it. She likes gaming, but the main thing is she loves engineering and this being powerful what is this Ooh, brown envelope is it full of money <laughs> yeah that doesn't smell like cash let's see so coming back to what I was saying yeah where's my scalpel there it is um, she is going to need it. She tried to. Well, she did actually download the newest engine for games. And on her i5, fifth generation, with some silly graphics. She managed to run it, but she didn't do nothing yet. Uh, it's just bits and pieces. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I never stop. Training, no enter. Good look, gamer. Okay. Okay, I think she's going to appreciate those. She likes stickers. Um, yeah, and I was as, as, like I was saying, she didn't ruin anything using that engine, 
so she, she didn't create anything but it was running but I think the minute she would start creating it would run into troubles so here we have this is very nicely protected with the foam um, it's not too firm but not too soft neither so I think this foam is better than the ones that you can't do anything with them so but they do transfer way more of that force into the device mm, during transport but this would yeah this would eat a lot more of that force so we'll come to that let's see what do we have in the box it's a black box so probably it's very important yeah excuse me I am all oh we have a cable the normal AC adapter cable yeah mm -hmm. like you use to your computer monitor there we are and that's the brick oh my god actually it's wide but it's not let me see yeah it's wide it's like eight centimeters wide oh okay so it's eight centimeters wide and only two centimeters in depth and it's not that heavy um it is outputting 19.5 volts at 11.8 amps which is 230.1 watts boom so this is the bar co collector and it's a good thing that it's 90 degree I think it's got LED in the indicator right there yeah we'll see what else do we have no way they gave me some screws for what reason okay ah HDD upgrade screws all right so we have four four screws to upgrade HDD does that mean does that mean that I can strip it down without losing my warranty to do so I will bet it does and I will do it anyway and we have an HDD upgrade cable all right all right that's actually cool very nice of them because this laptop that I can afford, well, that's a different story. Uh, but yeah, but this laptop comes with the uh, 500 gigabyte storage only, so it's uh, it's not that good. But saying that and seeing this I'm hopeful that there is a way of expanding that yeah cheaply because there's always a way if you have the money anyway we have a sleeve made out of 100% recyclable PET all right that's fine I'm happy with this okay let's take this out Ooh. Ah, I can't do it with that hand yeah all right 
and here it is let's take it out and that is 2022 model as it is 2022 here we have Acer Nitro 5 laptop with i5 12500H I believe and NVIDIA 3060 6GB graphic card so as you can see it is kind of nice I would like to note that this is just a print on top there is no uh, design embedded inside the uh, what is it LCD lid uh, a laptop lid so it's all flat so have a look it's perfectly flat you see but it is kind of futuristic looking uh, now we have at the back this extension here and I think this would be for yeah for, to accommodate the heat sinks and stuff we'll see inside in a moment at the back we have um, HDMI output USB-C and it's Thunderbolt I think so power delivery PD uh, and a barrel jack for your charger have a look yeah we have vents two yeah now on the right hand side what do we have we have LEDs for what for charging and on indicator and we have two USB 3.1 I believe from what I can remember we have as well an outlet for to the side for heating dispersion and on the left hand side we have same outlet to the left hand side we've got Kensington lock we've got nicely expandable full size which is nice Ethernet connector and I believe this is going to be 10 gig one this is 3.1 USB and the uh, audio jack so headphone jack uh, there is nothing at the front I think at the bottom of it right here on the left and on the right right there we have speakers yeah and all of this here does it come across yeah it does yeah majority of that area of this uh, real estate here looks like it's open for um, drawing a cool air from outside in but I don't know what it is comes yeah it does look at this so right now it looks like everything is open yeah but boom it's not okay this is kind of good and kind of bad but from the look of it it looks like it does cover the area of two intakes and then it covers some areas on top of that so we'll see what these are in a moment but first this first let's have a look at this bad boy oh I wonder whether this will stay so we can see from normal handling well I haven't got greasy and dirty hands obviously yeah. but from normal handling there is no mark left so that's cool yeah 
I like when that happens. And now let's try to open it. One finger. Oh yeah. Nothing moved. So the hinge retention and how much force is needed to open it's set very well because the chassis did not move just not even a millimeter and I didn't have to put any force almost well obviously some force but not any noticeable force to do so but on top of that it doesn't feel flimsy like it will move it, well it wo wobbles that's normal but it doesn't feel like it will move yeah it's very firm so I really like that okay so let's this looks very nice in my opinion um, I'll show you right now this is the maximum as it can open yeah so I will show you this right now this is the maximum that it can open cannot open anymore and I'm not prepared to try it <laughs> no matter how much you want me to um, yeah but I can tell you right now that when I'm sitting and this is on my like normally on the desk this is open too much already so that tells me that this level of uh, access when it comes to how much you can open this laptop it's good uh, due to the fact that in some cases you need to have it open more uh, when you work on it uh, and that will gonna be very helpful and I have very bright light at the top to make this area look the way it does um, and you can't see it in the camera but I can see it and the glare it's not hitting my face and killing it <laughs> my eyes yeah so I'll show you this I'll try at least yeah Can you see this glare it's dual it's because the screen is actually not shiny so it's made very well let me do this and let's start this bad boy it was it is brand new so it will not going to be set up so what I will do is I will start it to show you guys then I'm going to pack it stop the video and let my daughter enjoy setting it up Happy birthday, honey. I hope you're gonna love it and cherish it. Um, yeah. So, that's what we'll do. And then I'll come back to this video and carry on. It probably needs a charger to be put in. Let's see whether we have any power indicator. There's nothing on there. Well, we do have a charging symbol orange one so and it comes alive and what I will do That does look nice. The LED brightness. 
on the keyboard is just right I would say probably you can make it brighter or dimmer um, in settings somehow but out of the box I'm happy how does that feel oh that feels nice hello and there we are so bear with me let me have my daughter enjoy it and to set up your device using a screen reader turn on narrator by pressing windows and control and enter for more accessibility features press windows and u or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner okay <laughs> now i'll give it to her we'll set it up we'll play with it and i'll report to you back till then after her birthday he was so surprised she loved it and i think she does love it for uh unknown to me reason actually because it does have its issues uh, and i'll be talking about them in a minute now let's start it up so here we are logged in nicely but after setting it up we did have some time with the games and some time monitoring it and some time looking at how it performs and let me show you something that i think is a big question mark in my opinion because this is i512 at 500h so it should boost to 4.5 if i'm not mistaken uh, on single core and 4.1 gigahertz in uh, all core uh, and i couldn't think of a best uh, better actually uh, program to check this than Cinebench by the way let me switch off the filters that I have on my microphone so you can hear the actual sound of how loud it gets because yeah prepare to take off let me say that So that's all of my filters off and let's start the test. Okay, so that is pretty loud, actually. That is pretty loud.
it doesn't look very good. And it's 12,074 points. And it boosts only, it says, 3.11 gigahertz. So let's see, NitroSense. And NitroSense is saying that it boosts to 3.2, 4 or 5. I could install hardware monitor to have a closer look and better look. But it doesn't look like it boosts where it's supposed to, and that is because it's throttling. It goes down only in between the scenes in Cinebench. So I'm not happy. I'm not happy with this one bit. As it's supposed to go to 4.5 gigahertz. And to be honest, for that price, I could have built her a PC that would go beyond that. And she wanted a PC. Don't get me wrong, this is still plenty. Yeah, and it will gonna work on many things. Like a lightning. But when you pay for something, and you get something different, in my case, in my opinion, this is a scam. Am I doing something wrong? Do you know how to get out the actual performance from that processor in this model from 2022? I've checked the BIOS. I can't access memory overclocking. I can't access CPU overclocking whatsoever. And I'll show you that in a minute. Let us run through this test. It's basically a 3 gigahertz processor. So I'm very disappointed in that. Unless I'm being the fool, which can happen. So if you know how to get this up and running as it's supposed to, please let me know. Okay. And we have a score of 12,012, which is smaller than the one because it was 12,070 something than the one that we've seen in between the passes. So yeah, so this is our score right now. And I'm not happy with that. That's what it comes to this. On the other side, and let's benchmark it. There we are. And this is what made my day after I've seen the other result. Because it's actually not that bad. <laughs> Maximum frames per second 336, minimum 83. And it's constantly running on like 170 180 frames per second graphics it's 2. Point, uh, sorry 2 gigahertz and 197 megahertz now i can feel the air warming up but it's completely cool here nothing Yeah. And there is our result. And the result is actually very nice. As you can see, minimum 27 frames per second. Obviously, maximum 336 frames per second. That is very acceptable. And then it was averaging on 175 frames per second, which is very decent. Max temperature was 80 degrees. And a CPU max temperature was 86. And as you can see, it brought the temperatures down pretty quickly. Uh, see? This is nuts. Especially, there's nothing here that allows us to do anything. Okay. So, can go down here. This is just an information. Yeah. So, as we can see, it's 12 Gen i5 12500H. Yeah. Now, we have only 8 gigabytes of memory, which is it's not good. 2022 
with this machine. Come on. So now let's. Uh, we can set the time, day, yeah. It's just there's nothing here. Can't even access that because it's disabled. That's it. My brain doesn't compute that. It looks to me like this is GPU and this is CPU. But it can be other way around. Space for SDD. And it does come with a, a connector. Which you plugged in here. With a ribbon. We have M.2 SSD which is good. And it's at 512 gigabytes like I said. So it's a Samsung SSD MZ-VL25120. We have 8GB RAM, PC4, obviously, and that is 3200. Uh, battery, it's 15.4 volts, 57.40 watts, so 3733 mAh. This isn't good enough. And it looks like it's two cell battery with the controller in the center. The IO board is separate on this side, and on this side is integrated into motherboard. We do have another end of two slot, which is good. Yeah. Does it come? Yeah, it does. Okay. So the M.2 discs coming with their heat sinks, yeah, both sides, so that's brilliant, you can upgrade her M.2, okay, so, so I'm sorry, but you're going, let me just uh, plug the battery, ooh, that's a plus that came out very easy. Well, it came out easy enough. That's all I can say. Strain the power. All right. That should do it. Now let's ground ourselves and deal with that. All right. Okay, that's good. Come on, battery. All right. That is back in place. What's surprising to me is this. What is this? It looks like fluid. Or glue. Or something. Maybe they tried to stick it up there and have no clue, but this should not be there. It has. It has an issue already. And that's supposed to be a brand new device, yeah? But I can tell you right now that it's missing something. Oh, wow. It is missing one of the rubbers from the speaker, the damper. 
This is unbelievable. It does not contain any warranty void stickers on the actual GPU and CPU side. So it's like they do understand that you do need the access to that, which is good. The fan cable was not set properly here. And the missing rubber. Do you see this white bit? This is the missing rubber here on the other side of it. Let's see what I recognize. Yeah, 16 gigs. It's constantly thermal throttling. It's constantly on 100% of use which is a 3.2 gigahertz boost. I don't know. Am I wrong? Sure feels like it. Like I am completely wrong with the... Oh, do you see? It moves, it's not ghosts. It's, it's the speed of an amount of flow those have. And I really like that. But yeah, it, it feels like I'm wrong with my assumptions. We have 3.5, but it's now finished. So, 3.7, right now. 3.8, how? So you see, it's, it's boosting here up to... 3.8, 3 3.9. I'm not wrong, it should boost to 4.5 on one core at least, and then 4.1 on all cores. But because it's thermal throttling, it doesn't. Is this unit itself build now properly? We've seen the missing missing parts. It's actually a part. It's, it's, it's a damper for speaker so it doesn't rattle. That's missing. Did they not apply appropriate amount of thermal paste? Which is a bucket load. <laughs> um, I really don't know. And I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna think about this hard. And then maybe make another video later on. Look, we've got 4, four gigahertz CPU boost right now. This is long past the test, and the test score is actually 12 point less than it was, so it's exactly 1200. So, oh, okay, I will take off all the filters again, so you can hear the maximum speakers. How do they compare with the sound and whether you can play like that without headphones? So the filters are off, you probably hear the difference. And the speakers are on 100%. Can you hear anything?
Settings options, yeah. Image calibration average 86 frames per second. Okay, 100% limit off. All right, graphics ultra high quality. So, I think that's good. Anti aliasing high, work data ultra high, very high, ultra ultra high. Well, okay, most of it is on in between ultra and high, so it set it up itself automatically. Um, Darks on this screen looks beautiful. It's like looking into abyss. They're completely black. I love it. doesn't actually look bad. I'll turn this off. I will stop the game. And I'll turn on the filters because your ears must be killing me. And I'm sorry. 81 degrees on the graphics card with utilization of 4% of CPU. Well, yeah, 4%. Here we have 18, a, a spike of 18, but that's fine. Uh, but graphics utilization was 100%. Yeah, but the uh, utilization of 100% with 80. Uh, one degrees that means I am not happy with the benchmark itself but I'm very happy with the quality of the game the game quality perfect uh, it didn't have any problems whatsoever uh, so I'm happy with this and I'm actually overall happy with this but I need to I need to be uh, informed so please inform me yeah because if you thought that i should show you something else or something different as well on top of what i've shown you um leave me a comment please i will get that you know in my head for the next time or i will just make another video about this laptop showing that if you really want me to uh thank you very much for watching Overall, I'm happy with the laptop. If you like what I did, once again, please like and subscribe. I won't waste your time with this anymore. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. Take care.